Hello Indie fans! It is a strange week with a number of AA titles, some of which I'll cover since I think they may be of interest to you, but the top 10 best indie games of the week begins with Phonotopia Awakening. The developer of this game did reach out to me, and I instantly fell in love with what else than the beautiful pixel art. A side-scrolling action platformer RPG that takes inspiration from Zelda, solve the mystery of the abduction of all the adults as you travel the world on an adventure. On top of pure platforming and combat, there are puzzles to solve and even fishing and cooking systems, so it looks like a real gem and not to be missed. My name is Thomas Shelby, and I thought I'd left the world behind. But that could never be done. My brother Arthur and I, we differ in our approach. He was always more direct. But me, I realised that everything can change in a moment. And you have to be ready for that moment. Ready to deploy your forces and act with military precision. This one comes with an asterisk since Peaky Blinders Mastermind is based on a TV show produced by the BBC, but developer Future Lab is a mid-sized studio who is best known for the Velocity series. Gone are the days of terrible licensed games, so I do have hope for this, which is a puzzle adventure game played from an isometric perspective. You control members of a criminal gang and have to pull off complex plans, and it looks well put together and should be alright. So I will be tired anyone who means to do us wrong, because we're the Peaky Blinders. And when we go to war, we leave nothing to chance. Not just any intruders, the soon to be famous Battle Toads? <gasps> it's the Queen! Wait! We can team up! Now that you're here, we can execute my plan to defeat the Topians together. Sup, Topian scum? We just stole a spaceship and we're coming for you. Did that voice just say it was going to destroy us? Who would want to destroy you? You've got the most amazing shape. The second title with an asterisk is the long anticipated Battle Toads, which makes it to launch. And yes, while Microsoft is publishing this and it is a delivered IP from Rare, the actual developer on this is relatively small. Turbo bikes, baby! Having been announced ages ago, the character designs got a mixed reception, but a rebooted beat-em-up will always be of interest. All I ever wanted was to be a famous hero, for real. And now I am one. We're not heroes, Rash. We're puppets. I am not a puppet. Buy our video games! Yeah, that's just like one of a thousand phrases. It looks to add gameplay that mixes and matches from different genres and could be pretty neat. Things are about to get very, very dark! Oh yeah, yum yum time! <laughs> I'm so fun, we're gonna be famous! All awesome Vikings go to Valhalla, but if you're sick, old, or lame, you're doomed to eternity in Helheim. Yes, I know. Ah! Wake up, you ancient loser! What the hell is going on? Where am I? Who are you? What are you good for, you little? Whoa! 
What the? How am I still alive? I might have messed up the resurrection spell. So I'm just ahead then? Alright, let's settle back into the indie groove with Helheim Hessel, a humorous adventure game where you play as a pacifist viking who is stuck in hell, but has to get out of uncomfortable situations by solving puzzles. Hell is that? I belong in Helheim. No stupid battles, no stupid games, just peace and quiet for all eternity. What brings you up here? Oh, uh, it's a long tale. What did you just say? Oh, for gosh darn sakes, Bjohan. The gimmick here is that our protagonist can detach and combine limbs and body parts, which of course has to be used creatively to progress. I'll show that farm animal what happens when you steal my soul! This is from the developer of the Greek adventure game Mano Semyo, so a good pedigree and I'm confident in this. Gleam Light, the title which had people screaming plagiarism, also makes it to launch, and yes, while visually it does look similar to Hollow Knight, I will give this Japanese developer the benefit of the doubt. It doesn't say that it is a metroidvania, so perhaps just an action platformer, but we'll have to see on that. A heart's grave conflict. They long for war. They wish to be freed. Released from the curse of peaceful rest. A title which caught some of your attention is Griff Helm, a side-scrolling medieval dueling game that looks like chivalry but side on. Medieval combat is brutal, and this game seems to be able to capture the weight and gravitas of it. It has a story campaign over multiple battlefields, and I'm interested in the variety of weapons and fighting styles available. Developer Mythic Owl, who previously made Hexologic and Translation, utilizes a wonderful low poly art style and vibrant colors in their games, with one line coloring being the latest. While perhaps more suited for mobile, it nonetheless looks beautiful and chill. Consecrated fires revealed cinders and shadows. But beneath it all, no monsters, no gods, only oblivion. The big one for many people is the Souls like title, Mortal Shell, which impressed with the modern visuals and monstrous, horrific enemies. The twist here is that weapons and abilities are tied to shells that you can inhabit like a hermit crab, so a variation on the equipment system found in most Souls-like games. As always, I'm happy to see another contender in the genre, so good luck to them. You're probably wondering how you got here. I, listen, I won't beat around the bush. Bad news. You're infected. It must have happened during the last testing cycle, but it doesn't matter anymore. Uh, well, now for the harder part. We're going to have to give you uh, a cognitive kick. One curiosity this week is the Dread X Collection 2, a compilation of 12 smaller horror games from some developers you may recognize including the developers on Dusk, Pony Island, and World of Horror, among others.
If you love variety and horror games, this one should be worth a look. The Delete Rook Legacy 2 gets top billing once again since it is the sequel to one of my all-time favourites. It adds a lot more variety in character classes, weapons, progression and randomised traits, and having had hands-on with this for a little while now, I can say that it's living up to my expectations. Do note that it releases in early access and may be lacking that bulk of content with a limited number of enemies and bosses, but the complete game loop is in right now and is fully playable. For simply being awesome, it takes the number one spot. To see more of the big picture, check out these awesome videos and I will see you after the jump.